Hey there, Paul with Diodynamics, and today we're talking off-road style LED fog lights. Now, if you're in the market for upgraded fog lights for your truck or off-road vehicle, you've probably seen these two brands. The first one is us here at Diodynamics, and then also Baja Designs, two industry leaders in off-road lighting that also offer on-road legal LED fog lights. Now today we're going to take a look at the pros and cons of each, compare the beam patterns, price points, power levels, we'll get into all that. But first, a little history. Now when we talk about off-road lighting, usually you don't think about on-road lights like fog lights. In this case, Baja Designs was really innovative years ago when they started introducing fog light mounting kits. These kits made it easy to put off-road lights into your fog light mounting location to easily add extra off-road light. Now the only problem with this is that by putting them in your fog lights and then wiring them directly with your fog light power, a lot of consumers were turning these on on the road and blinding other drivers and then realizing they couldn't really use them as fog lights, they are off-road lights. It's fine if you want off-road, it's not too helpful if you want them for on-road use. We saw a huge opportunity with this, so when we designed our SS3 pods and introduced them, we designed a dedicated on-road SAE fog output pattern. Now that's a really wide spread of light, so you see to the edges of the road and add immediate foreground in foggy conditions. And importantly, we're not shining any light upwards into the eyes of other drivers. That's what makes a good fog light. Now, like any good competitive market, Baja Designs took notice and designed an SAE fog pod. The first offering was an improvement in the optics, a little bit more focused, but unfortunately, there was a little bit too much spread, which users quickly noticed. To alleviate this, they provided some inserts, but this kind of cut down on the output further. Now, credit given where credit's due, Baja Designs did completely redesign the optic recently to this new design that uses these projector-style optics. This is truly a good fog light pattern with a nice sharp cutoff and that widespread you'd expect from an LED fog light. So this is truly now a competitive product to what we offer here at Diodynamics. Now, there are some serious differences still in the technology that's used. Most notably, we're using a TIR instead of that projector style. This TIR is gonna be extremely efficient, more so than the projector, but we're not gonna get quite that same sharp cutoff as we capture as much light as possible. Also, the Diodynamics product is available in three power levels whereas the Baja Designs comes in just the SAE Fog power level. Finally, we have a backlight feature that you can use on these. We give a amber illumination on these when you're not using that main pattern. That's optional, but it's a nice added feature. The main function we're concerned about though is the fog light output. So that's what we're gonna to compare today, starting with the Diodynamics Stage Series SS3 Sport. Now, even though this is the entry-level power for diode dynamics, it's still gonna shine with 10,600 candela, which is much more output than your factory fog lights. It's the lowest price on the table. The whole uh, kit with your mounting and pods is gonna be about 280 for most vehicles, and it'll shine with an 80-degree spread of light. That's just huge coverage to see all the way to the sides of the road. That white is 10,600. The yellow is only a slight step down at 9,050 candela. Usually the yellow is gonna be a little bit less output uh, due to just the way the lights produce. And you'll see that consistently through all the products here today. Moving right along, we're gonna go up in the price point. The next up will be the Diodynamics SS3 Pro, which is 380, including that mounting hardware. Now the Diode Pro is gonna be only a little bit higher than the Sport in intensity. The white's 11,900 candela, and yellow is 10,900 candela. Now, the biggest difference is that the vertical spread is much taller on the Pro. So this is a preferable option, especially if you have a lifted truck or you need to have that vertical height in your fog light pattern to get full coverage. As you can see, the width is still extremely good with the Pro, actually a little bit more than the Sport. Now, moving right up is actually pretty comparable in price at $410 is our Baja Designs Squadron SAE. It's the same price for both white and yellow, and the intensity is a bump up as well. This is gonna be 12,200 candela based on our own measurements here in our lab. And the yellow is 10,900 candela. Now, the biggest difference you'll see with this is due to the difference in the optic style, this isn't gonna be nearly as wide of a pattern. 
However, it is a really nice sharp pattern at the top of that cutoff. A little bit more like what you'd expect from a factory style fog light. So if this is the style you're looking for in the output appearance, and you don't mind that lower width, this is a really good option in that pro, you know, about $400 price point. Now, it's pretty subtle in these photos, but you might notice that the Baja Designs is a little bit more of a neon or fluorescent yellow color, and it's actually going towards the greenish side of the chromaticity chart. We do specific color testing because SAE requires a really golden yellow color that's pretty specific. And the Baja Designs pods are really more towards that greenish yellow side of the color spectrum. At Dive Dynamics, we like to ensure that our yellow fog lights are that true selected yellow color, which meets the standard for fog light use. Now, the last option we have on the table today is the Dive Dynamics SS3 Max. Now, this is also the highest price point by a long shot, it's 580, but believe it or not, there are other fog lights that come in even higher than that. This is designed to be the maximum possible output using Osram HX boost emitters, and it shows in the output level as well. This is a ripping 18,000 candela in white, and because we have to use those automotive white emitters, we have to convert more of that light down for yellow, meaning the yellow comes in at 12,500. But that width is maintained, really, really nice output, smooth across the board, and this is a great option if you're looking for the absolute best performance in both intensity and width from your fog lights. Now there's a lot of factors that go into your purchasing decision, and we can't cover all those here today. Uh, for example, Diodynamics is still assembled in the USA. Baja Designs has a little bit longer warranty with that lifetime versus eight years. There's a lot of factors to consider, so I'd encourage you to check out the respective websites and read all about these two products, making a decision for yourself. We've gotten enough questions about our brand versus Baja Designs that we thought it was worth making a video and sharing what we know, even though it's obviously gonna be biased. I hope it's still been valuable to you in some way as you make your purchase decision. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.